Today we are focusing our attention on the takeaway and more specifically how the body should move in that early part of the golf swing. It always amazes me how many golfers struggle with that first part of the golf swing which can lead to faults later on. So we're going to address that and we're going to give you one of the best drills that I've come across to help you better understand how the body should move. So welcome back to the Forest of Arden, the par 5 17th, and a warm welcome to all the Golf WRX viewers. So we're talking about takeaway, and in this particular video, you're going to learn about how the body should move in the early part of the golf swing. You're also going to learn about the three things that are happening within your body, which is rotation, tilts, and extensions. And you're going to learn very simply how to manage those to get the golf swing off the best possible start. So just before we get started on that, if you're new to my channel, I would love you to be a subscriber and make sure you don't miss any of the content. There is a link down in the description box below. And if you do hit that subscribe button, make sure you also click the bell icon, which means you'll be notified each time I upload a video. So for the purpose of this video, we're talking about the takeaway being just the initial move away from the golf ball, and probably not even until the golf club reaches parallel to the ground, but probably just before that. And we're very much focusing on what the body does within that part of the golf thing. All too often I'll see a golfer where the golf club moves into some poor positions, let's say two outside or two inside, and it's actually through what the body's doing as opposed to what the hands and the arms are doing. Unfortunately, these golfers who have got, let's say, poor body movements will try and fix that problem by just placing the golf club into the right place with the hands. And so we start to get the body moving incorrectly and then the hands compensating to give ourselves looks like a neutral takeaway, but in fact, there's lots of things that are incorrect early on. So to go through this little exercise, we need to set up a very simple station. So I've just got my alignment stick and I've just placed it into the ground and it's roughly, not exactly, but it's going to be roughly at about the same angle as my golf club. And this is going to give us a reference for how we'd like the golf club to move. Now we're going to use the golf club as a reference, however, we're focusing very much on the body. So let's tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take your starting position and you're going to take that golf club and you're going to move it upwards until it hits you, which is hopefully going to be somewhere around your belly button or between your belly button and your belt buckle. And I'm just going to take my lead hand and place it on the metal and then my trial hand below that. So I've got fairly normal arm structure. I've got my fairly normal posture. However, the golf club is just in contact with my belly button. And what we're going to see here is if I maintain my arm structure and the golf club maintains its contact with myself, that means that my arms are very passive. So if I make what be classed as a, say, a fairly neutral takeaway, you can see I get the golf club running in a nice position here, nicely away from the ball, and everything's kind of as we'd like it. But without changing the relationship between the club and my arms, I could easily do some other things within my body which would make that golf club look very different. You can see this golf club is now absolutely nowhere near where it was previously. However, I've not done anything different with my hands and the arms, but I've actually just extended my body. I've started to move out of my posture. If I make a movement where I increase the amount that I bend over the ball, the golf club is going to end up going much more inside. So we can actually have that golf club moving through, within reason, almost any position without any manipulation from the hands or the arms. Those positions, those movements that you just saw me making were purely down to how I was moving my body. So if we get that body moving incorrectly, which does happen quite commonly, the golf club is likely to move into some other positions. So when we are moving the golf club away with our body, there's three things that are happening, and this is quite tricky. We are rotating or turning. We are changing the amount that we are bent over the ball. We call it flexion and extension and we're changing the amount that we're tilted over to our side. And those three things are happening and changing in the takeaway, which is actually why the takeaway is quite a difficult move to master because there's lots of things happening. But if we can take a starting position here, get that golf club so it's in contact with me, get my arms down onto the club shaft, and actually feel like I just keep that relationship but get the golf club moving pretty much up along this alignment stick, that's really ensuring that I'm doing those three things. At this point here, I've got rotation. I'm starting to add in some side bend to my left, and I'm starting to take my forward bend, and I'm starting to reduce that slightly. So often we see golfers where they take too much of the forward bend out. You see the golf club rises up here. We get golfers where they're trying to maintain too much of the forward bend. You can see my head moves off the board and the club head moves quite low and inside. We also see golfers where they don't rotate well enough. Well, if they don't rotate, then the golf club's not going to move at all. So if we're keeping that golf club and its reference point to myself constant, 
and we're moving the golf club through a checkpoint in the takeaway. We're almost ensuring that we're moving the body or that we're controlling those three elements in our body pretty well. Now, obviously, what we could do is we could move the body correctly and we could have the arms doing something different. I appreciate that. This video is more about trying to get you to move your body better. Because for me, that's the start of the golf swing. It's starting to get the body to move better. We can then get the golf club to fit and work around that following. But we have to get the body functioning and moving correctly because that helps you rotation, it helps you load your pressure, helps you maintain your angle to the ground. All of those things that we'd like to do or the like to have happen in our golf swing are going to be present if we can get that body moving correctly. Once you've done a couple of those, we can just go ahead and take that into a golf swing. So I'm going to take my setup here. I've got a seven iron. It should be about right to get me into the middle of that green. And then all we do is we try and make that same rehearsal where I feel like my body's making the same movements that it was in that little exercise. And then pretty good, linked it a little bit right, so it should catch the green. And it's just on the right hand side. So takeaway, really, really important part of the golf swing, get the golf swing off to a good start and make sure we're controlling the body and that little exercise is gonna help you appreciate exactly how to do that. Hope that really helps you. Hope you get some good drills from that. Hope you get some good practice. And let me know in the comments box whether you found that useful. And also, it'd be great to hear some success stories from yourself if you did find that was helpful to you um, and you did see some benefit in the game and out on the golf course. Thanks very much for watching. Usual stuff is down below. There's a comments box down there. There's a like button. And also, that subscribe link, which is over here. Give that a click and click that bell icon, which means you'll be notified each time I upload a video. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll hopefully see you back here again soon.